with the love of Jesus daily let us go preaching preaching in the sense of wisdom more love grace to show read them yet I pray and win in every day with wisdom of the law with the perfect holy word reach them reach them though it cost our trials read them as you go rooted in the holy love of jesus let us fruitful so read them yet i pray and win in every day with wisdom of the law with the perfect holy word let us pray holy spirit we thank you because you have brought us again to this soul intercessory prayer teach us give us knowledge so that we can translate it to others holy spirit you are the knowledge jesus you are the truth father you have the giver give us knowledge so that we know how to apply oath in wisdom so that people will come unto the lord and mass and lord hell will be deep polluted thank you jesus in jesus name we pray amen uh, we thank God because the opportunity to come to you again today. We are looking at uh, some passages, but the topic we are looking at, you will see it now. Let's turn our Bible onto the Word of God. Open your Bible with me so that we will be able to learn the more today. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 19. We are reading so many verses, so many passages of the Bible today. Proverbs 19, 2. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasted with his feet, sinner. Hallelujah. We are looking at knowledge. Before an evangelist move, before a preacher move, he has to know knowledge. He has to have knowledge. That so be without knowledge, it is not good. Jesus, the truth, teaches you knowledge. Know Jesus first before you move. Knowledge of the kingdom. Knowledge of the things. And knowledge about the matters of the kingdom. So that you can teach right teaching. Today, we are looking at knowledge. Go to chapter 15 again. And in verse 14. The Bible says, The art of him that art knowledge. The art of him that art understanding seeketh knowledge. Look at it. With the understanding inside, he seek after knowledge. But the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. Let's go to Psalm 119. Open the Bible. Don't uh, despise the word. The word is perfect. The word is good. The word actually preserves and prevents us from entering into errors. Look at it in chapter Psalm 119. 19, I read verse 11 for the purpose. We are going to 66. He said, Thy word have I eat in my heart that I might not sin against you. So, number one, when the knowledge of the word comes, it prevents sin. Let's go to, for that. If you, because if you are preventing sin in your life, you tell all that to run away from sin. And that's the essence you preach Christ to them. Let's go to Psalm 119. Open the Bible with me. The same Bible 1966 now. Teach me good judgment. Look at that man that said, I wouldn't want to sin against you. I had your word, but I still need teaching. Teach me that knowledge and lead me that judgment and knowledge. For I believe that commandment. Hallelujah. We are going to see today what is even the meaning of knowledge. A clear, a certain perception of truth. Who is the truth? Jesus. That means you have clear knowledge about Jesus Christ. Before you preach, because today is soul intercessory prayer, uh, evangelist, evangelism, prayer, and teaching movement in the rich world mission. Now, we say a clear and certain perception of truth. You need to understand Christ. You saw Christ as a prophet. You saw him as somebody who came to the world just like a prophet. You can't teach anything. I'm the way, the truth, and life. Then you give it to others. And that means elimination of the mind. Learning. If you want to know, have knowledge, you learn. You study. You know more. You search here, search here. You write in the Bible, of course. You'll be victorious. Somebody. 
in the Bible so that you will not be victim of circumstances of life. When you go to them, even when you are supposed to be silent, quick, quiet, you know. When you're supposed to talk, you know. The word at the right season will be given unto you because you have studied. Even the, the area of their psychology, you know a little. In this philosophy, you know a little. In the education of the world, the career, the medicine, the health, you know a little of it. And I know when you study, you'll be expanded inside. There'll be illumination of the Lord of the Holy Spirit to give you one. Another one is skill. You get skill when you go out to minister there. You see how we see about Jesus Christ? Information. We are going to three points today. We are going to see. Please go with me. Topic is knowledge. Knowledge is important. Know. That is ability to know. To understand what's going on. The application is not the wisdom. So it's very important to have knowledge of what you are doing. Somebody who says an evangelist, a preacher, we say even a pastor or whatever you call, or even witnesses, and you don't have information. You don't have knowledge. You don't know the, you don't know your left from sand. You are like a child. You don't know anything. You need to study. You need to understand. You need to go find informations. You need to go deep, deep and deeper to understand the word of the truth, to know what is going on, get information. Even your newspaper, your internet, your your whatever, your social media, you need to get information, but not in their pernicious way. What knowledge do you have? Some are, are, are they say they are Christians, heavenly minded. The knowledge they want is how to get property there, how to get wealth there, how to, they even know knowledge of the Things of the world, the mystical of the world, the things that is happening in the world, the woods or whatever they call them, they know they want to know that their television is full of immorality, and that's the knowledge they know inside their heart. They feel themselves. Look at what the Bible says in our stu- in our study. It told us specifically, and it makes us to understand in chapter nineteen and in that verse two. It makes us to understand also that the sober with that knowledge is not good. And he that hated, he that hated with his full, fee, uh, he, with his, he that hated with his feet, sin it. Just run around like this, no knowledge, nothing. You are sinning because you will be committing and contradicting Jesus. Some of them will even say, Jesus, hey, I agree with you, he's a, he's a prophet. Uh, because they don't know that Jesus is the Lord, is God, is our Savior, is the one that takes us through the blood. And actually, he, he victoriously took us, won us from kingdom of darkness, from devil to the kingdom of the light. Let's go to three points today, one, so that we can pray effectively and we go out there and launch and win souls and reach them with the word of life, word of holiness, word of righteousness, word of truth, word of knowledge. Now, one, extracting from the just God of knowledge. Number two, example from the from Jesus, the giver of knowledge. Then, escaping judgment by getting knowledge or enjoying justice by getting knowledge. Other way you put it, God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's start from the first prayer point. That is extracting from the just God of knowledge. Look, look at uh, the word of God in the uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. For the Lord give her wisdom out of his mouth, knowledge, out of my common knowledge and understanding. Now, you need to, he said, God, the Father of Jesus, the giver of Jesus, said, For God so loved the world and gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Is the giver of knowledge. So if you don't tap into him, you don't have knowledge. So you need to extract, to come out. With, what will come out from God, which is Jesus? You need to know him. If you don't know Jesus, you will just be parablating because there's no power, there's no knowledge, there's without Christ. And the Bible told us something in to have a knowledge. It told us in this place in Isaiah chapter 34, I read from 16. Seek ye out of the book of law. These are ways you can get knowledge. You can be informed. You can get understanding. When you are teaching people, you teach them rightly in the word of God. Look at it. Say, Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. No. Of this shall fail. Actually, infallible word and the permanency of the word, the word, the power word. He said, None will fail, and none shall want a mate. When you take in Genesis and you take in Revelation, you are you address them together, they will not fail their mate because they are the same thing is the word of God, is the knowledge of God, is the understanding of the truth. But if you are not saved, if you are not saved from darkness to light, you will know what to say. You know, you won't stand firm in the word of God, but you need to seek. It says, Seek it. So read your Bible, study your Bible. Don't let the worldly affairs, circumstances, your job, things of the activity of churches disturb you from studying the Bible. Read it. You say, seek it the book of the Lord and read. None of them shall fail, shall fail. 
none shall want a maid for my mouth. It had commanded, and his spirit, it had gathered them. All about Jesus Christ. He said, look at it. He said, that in my mouth, it has commanded it out. I commanded it out, and his spirit gathered them. So you do, I just gathered them, you take your own, extract it. And the, the main thing is that if you want the certainty of knowledge, since God is the giver of knowledge, you need Jesus, the Son. He, he sent, for God so loved the world, He sent, His only God, whosoever believes in Him should not perish but everlasting life. Whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call on Jesus today, if you call Jesus to repent of your sins and confess your sins and live that life, if you are in Jesus Christ, you say, I'm Jesus Christ, but what of your life? Your life is not presenting, that means you are not informed about sin and righteousness and sanctification of the earth because God can do it. And most importantly, information about faith will help us to win that believe it, all things are possible. Holiness is possible, sanctification is possible, righteousness is possible, heaven is possible. That's why you'll be able to be sure I'm going to heaven by faith. Hallelujah. But no knowledge, you are, let's go to point number two, without actually wasting that because we are we are telling ourselves, we that preach the word, we that want to take the word of God. If a child of God, you are not preaching the word because the Bible says, You shall receive power. After the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you shall be witnesses, evangelists, preaching the word, telling people. You start from actually in that Jerusalem, both, and then Judea, then Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the world. Everywhere you go, spreading it. And I remind us on September 29, we're spreading the gospel. Hallelujah. Please join us. September 29 is a day of mass evangelism. Be ready. But no knowledge, no spreading. No knowledge, no teaching. No knowledge, no giving out. You can, what you don't have, you can't give it up. Study the word. Example, we are looking at point number two. Example of Jesus, the giver of knowledge. Let's see the example. Go with me now to Matthew. Open your Bible with me to Matthew. I want you to be ready and to be prepared. Matthew, we read in chapter 22, 29 to 29. Then we jump to 30, 33. Jesus answered and said unto him, Ye do err, not knowing the scripture or the power of God. Look at it. You are making mistake because you don't even know the scripture you claim. You these people, you don't know. So you that want to preach the gospel, you don't know the scripture. How do you preach? How do you tell the truth? He said, you are hearing, you don't know the scripture. So how do you know the power of God? Because in it is power. You know there's power that's above the enemy. The other give unto you power. And you know that there's the power, the power of the word of God that created everything. And he give unto you power to actually do all things. If you go for evangelism and there's a problem in people's life, you apply the power of God. Because the Holy Spirit, but if you don't know, no knowledge, nothing, you just go to evangelism and people are sick, say, sorry, take him to hospital. To, uh, have you taken your? You'll be talking carnally because and the carnally mess is dead. Uh, an evangelist going out carnally, he kill people instead of actually bring them from death to life because you don't have the knowledge of God. Search the word. He said you err eh, because you don't uh, have knowledge. Look at what happened when they saw the knowledge in Christ in verse three, and when the multitude had this, they were astonished at his doctrine. Hallelujah. When you know more of God, information of power, information of the word, you are carried. They will say, ah, where does he get this doctrine? Because we know that this man, ah, look at verse, uh, look at John chapter 7, so that we confirm what you are saying, verse 14. John 7, 14, open with me to 19. And now, about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Knowledge people teach. Hallelujah. Knowledge people teach. He taught them. And the Jews marvel saying, How knew this man later? I've never learned. He just never learned. And he said, in, he, he told them, and Jesus unto them, My doctor is not my but he that sent me. It's my father that gave it to me. And Jesus giving you any, any knowledge you got from the father, derive that knowledge so that they be astonished at your knowledge. But if you, you need to grow and spread it, go into the world and spread the gospel. But no knowledge, no spreading. Let's go to the last point so that I can pray effectively. Are you ready to pray? Prayer help. You pray for soul, you pray for yourself, you prepare. In prayer, you prepare. So when you get there, there, there's a magnet in the word of God as you speak it out. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's look at it in John in, um, in the third point now. And there's escaping judgment by getting knowledge. Hallelujah. In, we escape punishment, we escape judgment, we escape arrows of the enemy. Even when we go off evangelism, they want to hear the word of God is with me. You splash it up. And because of the way you carry yourself, you do everything, you don't offend the kingdom of darkness because you have read the word, you know, ah, I'm not supposed to be enjoying justice by getting knowledge. Let's go to Isaiah. Open your Bible so that we will escape the judgment of the kingdom of darkness. We escape the judgment to come. We will not go to hell either because it works together. Let's look at it in Isaiah. 
Isaiah chapter 5, and uh, we're going to read together. God will help us as we listen, as we continue. Verse 13, let's read together. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. Captivity because they have no knowledge, and the honorable men have, have vanished, and their multitude dry up as that. Therefore, hell at a light are said, and open our mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. Can you see, without knowledge, you go into captivity. Hell is waiting. Don't go to hell because of lack of knowledge. And the Bible told us something that will make us to eventually and uh, effectively escape from the kingdom of darkness. And that is, we look at it and see in the uh, Proverbs 23, 20, 23, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Everyone is our own. Thank you, Jesus.